Well, was the two hours worth it? Only one way to find out. Oh. <laughs> How's it going, Destruction Enthusiasts? Dre here, and welcome back to another episode of Teardown. Today, we're going to be taking a break from doing the campaign to check out the two new official sandbox maps that have been released for the game. So yes, let's not forget, you can create your own levels now, and I will be doing an episode on that sooner or later, but I wanted to show the actual official levels that are part of the campaign, and I finally unlocked this one. It's called Hollow Rock. And yeah, as you can probably tell, it's a rather tight level with a lot of buildings and a giant rock in the middle. It might be hollow, I don't know. I've actually done nothing with this uh, map so far, so I'm gonna be experiencing it with you guys. Anyways, there's a lighthouse right in the middle. We'll definitely be knocking that down later, let's be honest, but um, let's go explore this level first and see what it's all about. So from what I understand, I believe this is a fishing outpost with maybe a hidden agenda. Oh, I actually hear, what's bubbling? Oh, this is actually a cauldron, chemical sludge cooking. Um, you know what? <laughs> okay, <laughs> can I move that sludge, I wonder? I guess we won't find out now. We'll have to play more with that later. Okay, so yeah, that's more or less the first building. I'm gonna quickly go through this because we have a lot of buildings to check out. Are these? Oh yeah, we got new explosives here, ladies and gentlemen. These are like small ones, um, but nonetheless fun. Okay, and we have a bunch of nothingness over here, so that's fantastic. There is something down there, but I just wanna make sure I'm not missing anything. What's down here? Oh, the new monster truck. Something I haven't showcased yet, but yes. We have a monster truck now in the game, and we'll definitely be playing more with this in the other level because it's there as well. I guess that was spoilers, but you've seen it already. Um, so yeah, I don't know where you're gonna really utilize this thing. It's not like there's much room to drive around, but I'm sure we can find a use for it. It's a freaking monster truck. So yeah, we'll get back to that. Oh man, those are explosive too? Okay, so there's a bunch of explosives on this world. That's that's actually exciting because I think you guys know I always want more explosives, and it looks like this is gonna be the level for that. <laughs> okay! Oh, I wonder if that blows up wherever I shoot it. Is this? Oh, Jesus, that blows up too. Everything I'm shooting in this level is blowing up. This is fantastic. Okay, yeah, this seems like a safe distance to uh, chill with a lot of explosives around. There's multiple tanks here that are gonna blow up. This is gonna be great. Getting a little smoky down there. There goes one. I thought it would connect to the other ones. It didn't though. Oh God, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. And yeah, it looks like it blows up in the middle every time. So I was wondering if you could like direct where the explosion goes. Doesn't look like it. Okay, before this thing burns this whole place down, let's put this out. So we got the old boat. We've seen that a few times before. Is that, is there a hole in the wall? Oh, can we actually get in there? Oh, hell yeah, we can. I can see a light. So is that the only way in? Do you actually have to blow your way in? Hold on, there's some more things over here. Let's not get too sidetracked. I wanna make sure we don't miss much because there's a lot to deal with on this. And yes, as you can see, it looks like it goes right in. We have a door here that probably leads to the same place. Yeah, so probably this is where the shady stuff's going to happen. Um, looks like they were dumping some stuff in the water. Again, I know nothing about the backstory of this place. I just know it looks shady, and generally when you're doing things underground, things are definitely shady, so... I mean, they got fish here. These explosives? Ah, we got so many explosives. This is fantastic. I need to collect all these and uh, blow something up later because there is quite a bit on this map. Let's follow the conveyor belt and see where this leads. Probably to a factory or something? Uh, another room with a lot of dead fish in it. <laughs> and explosives! Almost killed myself. That would have been bad. What do we got up here? More explosives! Oh my god, there's explosives everywhere with more conveyor belts. So yeah, this is this is the fish factory, obviously. And it looks like, yeah, the conveyor belt leads right to the ocean where I'm assuming you unload. And then at the top, we got this big red building. Is this... Yeah, this is obviously the head honcho's place. Alright, yeah, we got a second floor as well. This is such a cool laid out house, too. Um, it's just kind of like a... a Hexagon. Okay, but yeah, you get the idea. Just a giant, mostly flammable house that we'll play with later. Did we miss anything? Um, we got the docks. There's actually a bit- uh, actually, oh yeah, the BT thing. Okay, so if we can get out of the slums here, go to the other side. 
Uh, there's some sort of shops down here. Obviously, we got some sort of fish shop. Probably the fish that we're catching and processing. And then we got Blue Tide. I don't know why that's there, but I'm gonna blow that up. Is that an arcade? I just saw an arcade. It is an arcade. It's too bad we can't play it. But yeah, that like everywhere you look, I'm definitely gonna miss stuff because there's just so much here. We got like a, a workout area here, Blue Tide. Looks like they threw out all their old workout equipment in this room. I don't know why. Again, just kind of looking. Ooh, that looks explosive. It's not. Aw. What the hell is all this stuff? Why is it connected to this thing? What the hell is this? But yeah, I think you get the idea. This is not necessarily a vehicle map, but um, yeah, there's a lot of buildings you can play around with on this one, and I think the other one's gonna be more vehicle focused, so a healthy mixture here. Now let's reset and uh, collect some explosives. Well, it's a sad day when your explosives don't fit in your lighthouse. I guess we're gonna have to expand the door out. That's the benefit of this game. <laughs> uh... I'm starting to think this this lighthouse is a lot stronger than I expected. Oh, that's not good. It is thick. This is gonna be hard to explode. I can't even, I, I'm gonna have to blow off the door even to damage it a little bit. Let's just test if we can even damage it. I guess we'll have to uh, accept that. Okay, it's at least damageable. And that's kind of what I wanted anyways, just to make it a little prettier than this. God damn it, I didn't want to have to do that. Well, this could end badly. Or not. Uh, uh, uh. Oh god, we got the sludge, baby! Oh, this is dangerous. This is this is really dangerous, but I am too late. Ah! 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 Damn it! This is gonna take forever. Oh god, it's breaking the bridge! It's breaking the bridge! Oh no! This better be friggin' worth it. I I've seriously spent 40 minutes manhandling this thing, trying to get it over here. Frig off! All right, come on. Come on. I'm just not strong enough! And I think I got it. I might actually have it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, easy now. There's lots of explosives in here. This is, this better be worth it, guys. This is taking <laughs> so long. <laughs> but there's so much explosives on this map, which makes it enjoyable. Okay, okay, there we go. You're staying there. So I should mention, these are indeed movable. They're extremely heavy, though. So there's no freaking way I'm moving them. Um, I think we have enough explosives. It doesn't want to move now. Um, but yeah, if I could get like a forklift or something in here, we might be able to move these giant beasts. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus. Okay. How did that happen? That one wasn't even explosive. I found this one on the side wall. Yeah, it was chilling right here. It's not explosive. Uh, I, I guess it's a dud. Well, at least it made me fly somehow. We'll have to try and play with that later because somehow I glitched that out. Okay, I sure hope this explosion is worth it because <laughs> this took so long. So freaking long. And so many times I've exploded myself. But yeah, I cannot tell you how many there are in here. There's actually a few up top as well. Uh, I put a few up top and I was like, screw it. I'm just gonna put them all at the bottom. Because what I'm hoping for is obviously to blow up this whole tower in one shot. Uh, needless to say though, I doubt this is all the explosives on the map. Obviously the big towers we didn't bring over either. But there is a lot of explosives on this map and that's something I've asked for, so yeah. I guess now the fun part, we get to explode this thing. I get to go find a good view. I'm thinking probably on top of this or something. All right, well, was the two hours worth it? Only one way to find out. Oh <laughs> Oh man, the lag. Oh, it didn't knock it down though, but it's, it turned into a dragon. What the hell is that? Is there anything left? Obviously, we're gonna blow it up a few times. No, it did all of them. That's all I wanted. There's still a couple at the top, damn it. But, um, I wonder if I could take this thing down. Oh, the back wall, really? There was some um, cabinetry here. I thought the explosives would be enough to uh, break through though. Um, let's give it another shot. All right, you know what? I, I, I'm gonna try and help it a little bit. Okay, get out, get out, get out, get out! Oh, I'm ducking, trying to avoid the explosives. It seems very similar each time. I'm assuming if I move them around a little bit, it might be able to take off that back wall, but yeah, the cabinetry. God damn it, that freaking cabinetry got in the way. Well, screw you, cabinetry. 
Get out! Oh, that almost killed me. I just want to see it fall. Well, it got closer that time, that's for sure. Let's see if we can maybe knock it down with a few of these. I'm dead. Okay, well, we're going to load once again. Just to appreciate this. It took way too long to not appreciate it a little bit. Let's go over here. I'm just wondering if I, I shoot a different thing. If it would change how this reacts. But no, it doesn't seem so. I just love the rubble anyways. It's a bummer I wasn't able to take it down though. There it goes! Oh, that was perfect. I figured it'd be one more or two more. <laughs> that was all it took. There's the ones that were at the top. Okay, now we got an Australian lighthouse. Not sure what kind of boats you're gonna warn down there, but uh, yeah. Well, it's safe to say that was really fun. Let's finally move on to the other map though and check out that one for a little bit. Okay, and welcome to Villa Gordon. Now, I didn't expect to be spending so much time on the other sandbox, so we're going to kind of just quickly go throughout this one. I'm actually not going to showcase too much of the map at all. Uh, I actually did in my last episode of the campaign, so feel free to go check that out. I'll have a link in the description. Uh, but I did... I basically wanted to play with the monster truck. Let's be honest, this is like a monster truck playground. Hell, I could probably jump off this. You know what, let's try that, that sounds fun. All right, so it's kind of hidden on this map on the edge of the island, but it's pretty easy to spot once you know where it is. Um, and yeah, this thing, it's actually, it feels, I mean, I've never driven a monster truck, but I've played a lot of games with monster trucks and it feels pretty damn good. So I feel like we'll definitely be able to crush some cars with it, do some jumps, do what monster trucks do. And uh, yeah, let's go try and jump that um, greenhouse. Obviously this will be another good jump too. And I think, we <laughs> can I, you think I could jump the mansion? Oh man, if I could jump the mansion, that'd be fantastic. All right, hopefully this glass is really sturdy because it's gonna have to be. We're on a damn monster truck. There we go. Yes! <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, dude. I wish this thing had a bit more speed on it because we definitely got the top speed there. And uh, yeah, we got a decent amount of air. Don't get me wrong, but we can always use more. Oh, look at this. I am freaking rock crawling here. Damn, man. This thing is going to be fun to use. All right. Well, we jumped the greenhouse. Can we jump the freaking house? I don't think so, but we're going right to bed right away. <laughs> I wonder if I can get any more speed. All right, we just gotta lighten the load, that's all. Take off all this fancy stuff. You know what? Let's, let's, let's chop it. Okay, there we go. That's gonna work, right? Actually, it's probably gonna be slower because it's damaged now. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, when you, <laughs> when you cut up your cars, they slow down a bit. All right, every little bit of height counts, right? So... Why not use what we have at our disposal and build a little bit more of a ramp? There we go. That should definitely work, right? An extra two, three feet? Totally. I just want to land in the house so I can drive through the house. That would feel amazing. Oh, you bastard. That's so weird. The, um, the planks aren't registering for, for the tires. Like, look, I'm going right through them right now. Maybe we just need an explosive push. That always helps. Oh my god! It actually, it actually helped! Not in the way I expected, though. Oh my god, I really want to try that with the explosive now. But obviously I'm up here, so I'm gonna try and drive through the house. How often do you get a chance to drive a monster truck through a mansion? Not very often. I'm stuck! I'm stuck in your fancy bedroom! Let me out! Alright, I guess we're going this way. <laughs> Only in this game, man. Come on, break through that! God, why are these walls so strong? Ah! Almost there. There we go, there we go. Easy now, easy, don't fall off. Oh God, please don't fall off. Yes! Power! Screw your doors! Oh man, these are really strong doors. I honestly thought I'd just go through here like a tank. Clearly not. This is a well-built house. It's almost like this guy got lots of money. Just let me out! I did it! I made it through the <laughs> Yes! Oh, that totally didn't help. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, what? What? Are you freaking Spider-Man? Get up there! Get up there! <laughs> I can't. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. That, I mean, I might not have jumped over the mansion like I hoped for, but I, I just, I just climbed a wall with a freaking monster truck. Really, I can't get up here? I'm just gonna destroy this thing? 
All right, guys. Well, on that, I think it's a good time to wrap up this episode here. I've had a lot of fun today, and uh, I think there's going to be a lot of fun on this map. So keep your suggestions coming, especially for these two new maps. What kind of crazy shenanigans do you want to see me get into? I know we didn't really look at all of this map, but like I said in my last episode, I did kind of showcase the majority of it. But yeah, basically, this is a vehicle fun zone with a lot of amazing vehicles and uh, a very big building to destroy. So yeah, we'll be doing more of that in the near future. Now, I should also mention Teardown has been released today. So yeah, if you've been following me and patiently waiting for the game to come out, it is now fully released. Go pick it up. It's really, really fun. I do recommend you play it. Um, and yeah, keep the suggestions coming, guys. I have a Discord channel for Teardown. If you guys are building any maps or anything like that, please post them in there so I am notified of them because I would love to check out your maps later. And yeah, once again, guys, thanks so much for all your support. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.